It's been sort of close to 35 years since the last major renovation in the Palm House. I think what the project means to Q is basically bringing back to life one of its most famous structures, conserving history, So the Palm House is the oldest of the great glass houses at Kew. It was built in the 1840s. The house is like a tropical rainforest inside. It's got a very hot, humid climate. In the centre of the house, it is about 19, 20 metres tall. So this enables us to grow very tall palms, very tall trees, although these do eventually outgrow the space that we have. I think people love the Palm House because you approach this building and you just see how majestic it is. It's a lovely glass house. It's, for me, one of the most beautiful in the world. It's a grade one listed building in a World Heritage Site. Prolonging its life is in our best interest, not just for this generation, but future generations. Tropical environments in the wild represent some of the most threatened ecosystems on the planet and the collections uh, held in tropical glass houses not only at Kew but around the world uh, are a really important conservation tool. Okay so a lot of work over the last few years has, has gone into preparing the plants for the um, renovation. We've had quite a few species in here propagated by cuttings from the uh, the nursery team. We have assessed every single plant in the palm house to figure out whether we can just move it straight away into a decant house in the aim that we would be able to bring it back in again after the renovations or do we have to make more of it? So with the renovations coming up, if we're thinking about uh, moving everything out of here, uh, we may not have the space for tons and tons of huge trees. In this case, with air layers, what it allows us to do is to produce a new plant that is biologically a clone, so identical to the mother plant, but it would be a lot smaller. It would have a kind of more vigorous growth. So we're basically utilising this um, ability that plants have to produce roots where maybe there wouldn't be any. It's just another way of producing another plant. You'll be able to see the air layers in the palm house quite clearly. They tend to be black plastic and they might look a bit like a Christmas cracker on a bough or they might be um, set air layer kind of capsules and there will tend to be a tag next to it because every single air layer has its own individual marker. Some of the specimens in the house um, take a little bit more preparation. Um, so this is uh, p pictures that we took back in February when we were doing the actual root pruning of the dunes um, that we're digging out today. Um, so the aim of that was to dig the trench um, about a foot parameter around the root ball. Um, whilst doing that we then sever any roots, um, sort of major roots around the root ball and then basically that uh, creates a more compact shape. Um, so when it's coming to lifting time it's more compact and ready to go into a pot. Uh, um, and then we leave it for a few months let it get established, um, it will then send out more fibrous roots and then when it comes to potting up like this, this period, um, it's sort of ready to go really, it's already establishing itself and it won't be in so much shock when it comes to lifting. So we know, we know that any plant that's going to be containerized, it's going to be lifted from the bed, it's going to be disturbed um, to some degree. Um, this could cause some, some damage to the roots and it might hold back some of the plants in their growth for a while or, or some plants may, may suffer even more than that. So we know that there's a risk to doing this. Uh, we've selected which um, species are most important. Uh, we know which ones are backed up already in the nursery. Um, so we hope to, to keep the plants in as, as good a health as possible. But being grown in containers in a, in a new environment um, is going to be challenging when, when these have been grown for so many years in, in the sort of very hot, very humid uh, palm house with, with lots of uh, soil space for the roots to grow in. The palm house represents an incredibly valuable collection of plants, many of which are important for conservation. And this collection's value dates back 177 years. The idea that we could replace these collections is actually not imaginable. So we recently constructed a glass house in the middle of the gardens right next to the palm house which we're going to use to house the plants 
that come from the palm house whilst we carry out the works. Uh, we're now at a point where we've got the decant house ready for use and we also need to clear space from the palm house in order to be able to, to utilise this space again when we continue with the containerising. Uh, so today is the first day that we're going to be uh, moving some of these large uh, palms um, from one glass house to another. Uh, we've got several palms ready by the entrance which we're going to wheel out of the, the large um, palm house doors on the, the west side. Um, Dave is going to pick these up uh, with the forks from the top of the stairs and then we're going to move over to the decant house and we'll start lining these palms up. Um, and getting them into position where they're going to stay for the next few years until it's time to come back in here and be planted again.